Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here. Today we're going to do a pick a card, give you a chance to strengthen that intuitive muscle of yours. We're going to be working with the herbal tarot. It's a different style of tarot, okay? And we'll be doing the supplemental from the Spirit of the Herbs deck, a book here, uh, by Michael Tierra and Candace Canton, okay? This, book, this, this deck is amazing. <laughs> All right, so focus on the options ahead, all right? There will be an affirmation at the end of every single one. Uh, pause the video if it helps you, okay? Feel it and see it in your mind's eye. Whichever and whatever order calls to you has your message inside or confirmation at this time, okay? As always, take what resonates and leave the rest. I'll give you a moment. All right, a card A called to you. You have the Knight of Wands here, all right? There could be some communication company coming in or some kind of a message or confirmation, maybe something happening quickly. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or be one. You might need to be making this message, all right? This is a card of determination and dominance and conquest and zeal and willful intention and a crusader energy, all right? The Knight of Wands represents the expanding and volatizing aspect of fire. He is an armored, hot-blooded warrior ready to take on a cause vigorously. If a woman draws this card, so if you're a woman, it could be significant. The Knight of Wands would be most like the character Brunhilde in Wagner's Ring Circle, an enthusiastic female warrior whose exuberant personality tends to align with and champion various causes. The Knight of Wands is bold and unafraid to act quickly and with great courage. He must guard against becoming too macho <laughs> and insensitive. Such an individual does best when he directs his competitive spirit to overcoming personal shortcomings and limitations rather than trying to dominate and control others who are a more yielding nature. If he is at all intelligent, he will learn for himself the power or simplicity of yielding. It would be better for life, his life expression. However, if he could learn this sooner rather than later, for then he could direct his boundless energy and will to personal spiritual growth and service to others. The affirmation on this card, however it may manifest, I have universal power at my command and I can and do make a difference. All right, if card B called to you, you have the Empress, love it. Love it, love it, love it. This is a card of complete inner feminine mastery, okay? I love it. All right, your Venus sign may be significant at this time, okay? You might want to follow that. Pregnant with ideas, new life and possibilities, abundance and fruitfulness. There's a need to pay attention to nature at this time, a need to warm up and to be open to new situations. Compassion and tolerance are in the forefront. Grounding your energies is important. Create beauty and grace in your everyday life and paying attention to the energy and growth of a situation. The Empress is Mother Nature herself, sitting as the queen of all earthly life. Pregnant, she embodies the fulfillment of the creative impulse in the universe. By, behind her flows the clear stream of intuition that is the continuation of the blue gown of the High Priestess. She wears a yellow gown, which symbolizes the understanding intellig and intelligence of nature. The Empress's crown represents the 12 signs of the zodiac and the many expressions of life which they signify. Ruled by Venus, the planet beauty, harmony, quality, and love, the Empress seeks pleasure and the fulfillment of her heart's desires. Her law is the law of love. She asks us to feel the cool creatorship with the divine powers around and within us. She sees no difference between spirit and nature, for she knows that the physical world celebrates the infinite divine spirit. The affirmation on this card, I bring forth my creations with joy. I love and nurture them to fruition. 
Right. For those where card C called to you, you have the fool. Ooh, nice. All right. New beginnings. Divinely guided. You might have to take a leap of faith, okay? <laughs> Your Uranus placement will be significant at this time, okay? There's a needing or feeling boundless energy at this time. It's time to follow one's path with faith, having an innocent trust and inner guidance. A childlike enthusiasm might be needed. Could be even a little foolish, so just be careful of that. Living in the moment, willing to take chances, and a needing to find personal support within. The fool is our most inner self who is limitless, boundless, adventurous, and immortal. He is guided by his heart's path, symbolized by the rose, and by the divine golden light, which he perceives as divine grace pouring down to him. Because of his innocent trust in the divine, the fool steps forward fearlessly, oblivious of the impending cliff, which will tumble him down through the world of experiences and adventures. In his knapsack, he carries those traits and characteristics inherited from his ancestry, previous lives, and cosmic memory. He will use these gifts and powers as needed during his sojourn as an incarnated spirit. Uranus, an erratic, revolutionary, and eccentric planet, is the rule of the fool. Thus, he may appear to be crazy and outlandish or creative and original. He is free of self-imposed restrictions and is open to change and inspiration. The fool, being key zero, so the number zero might be significant, you might be seeing zeros a lot, okay, pay attention to that, is above all the other 21 major keys, and thus he has freedom of movement. He can appear in our lives when we least expect him. He encourages us to be more detached in the roles that we play and reminds us of our true beingness as children of the Great Spirit. He is a visual representative of the Tao or the Void, which is nothing and everything. He is our true self, joyously playing the script, but never losing contact with the power of life. The affirmation on this card, I feel the boundless divine energy flowing through me. I enthusiastically walk my path in life. 